All right. Well, welcome to the well. Here we are for the fall challenge, which is what we're going to transition into doing now. Instead of the month monthly soul guidance challenge, we're going to do a, a seasonal soul guidance challenge. So today is our fall um, and it couldn't be a more perfect day to do it. The season's changing here in Vermont. It's beautiful. So yeah, welcome. And how's everybody been doing too? It's been a while. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. And I like the idea of this seasonal challenge. So it gives us a little more time to put some of these in, things into practice. I know we don't always adhere, you know, you get the monthly challenge, you go, oh, that's a good idea. And you may not put it into practice when this gives us a more opportunity. When the topic comes up in your life, you can go, oh, yeah, there was a challenge about that. And then come back and, and put things in place there. Yeah. And yeah. So you ready to start? Yes, thank you, okay. Angela Marie from Grounded Papers. <laughs> Take it away. All right. so <laughs> our general topic for this um, soul challenge is fear. Ooh, fears, fears. So, uh, and quickly, it's responded to with another card of denial, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> right so this is a famous duo here <laughs> that a lot of us you know go back and forth with right uh. the fear comes mostly most of our fears I think come from the unknown some of our fears come from um you know past experience like we know we got burned on this before I don't want it to happen again right but most of the time fears are uh kind of a product of our imagination. Like, I don't know how this is going to happen and I'm afraid to take a step, right? Yeah. So then we go into denial. No, it's it's not, I don't have to worry. No, I'm not going to face it. No, I don't need to worry about it. Or no, I don't need to talk to them about this. Or no, this isn't even happening. Not even happening, right? So those two are a happy couple. <laughs> um. Oh, that's funny. It looks like there's a little happy couple right there in that card. I, I literally <laughs> thought that when you said that. <laughs> But also notice that well, also the blinders coming off. Yes. Yeah. And still, I just want to only see it with one eye, right? There's just so yeah. many visual. And then the fear card here is represented by that, the sword and the snake and all the things that could, um, you know, puncture our, our dreams or whatever. So those, wow. that's what we start out with. So this is an opportunity to notice when your fears arise what's your initial response, right? Yeah. If it's denial, which for most of us, it is, I know mm. I do that. Mm. Um, where does that lead? And I got exhaustion. Yeah. Wow. It's not going to take us anywhere, right? We don't get to mm -hmm. work it out. We don't get to, um, if we're in that blinded state, we're not going to see the outcome. We're not even going to try. Mm. to create an outcome and that circle that back and forth punch it leaves us um completely spent this is from all your energy not just mentally but physically and spiritually you're just right so that is sure. there's no progress there obviously right so then we turn to what can i change about this mm -hmm. what can i can i begin to turn to and I got beyond illusion. And this is uh, transformative. This mm -hmm. is using your intuition mm -hmm. to um, trust that even though you can't see and you can't see how it's going to turn out to sort of um, bring on board a little more trust than you do, mm -hmm. which is the balancer of the fear, right? Love and trust are mm -hmm. balancing our fear. So being able to, even in the smallest little um, moment, to be able to just say, okay, let me see how this might turn out if I face it. Then after the Beyond Illusion card, realizing that this isn't something um, I can shy away from forever because it leaves me exhausted. Then I got truth, big and bold. Look at that. The Accepting buzz. truth allows you to take positive action. Accepting the truth allows you to take positive action. It is That yeah. is so true. Really clear. That is the buzz there. With That's the, the buzz from the fear, from the snake to the bee. And, and, from the snake and then the as we're, you know, the, these are steps you can take. And really the first part is awareness. Mm -hmm. And then it is the trust and mm -hmm. the facing the truth. And then we end up with stability. Mm. Right. And then Does the fear to have a have life, a, to have a life 
that stays fairly consistent. Yeah. And we're not talking about stays exactly the same all the time. Like rigidity pulled, and robot. Like rigidity, right? When I pulled this, I thought of like on your car, like the shocks and the struts, they, you know, they'll take a bump, but they, they're, you know, you're not riding smoothly over the bump, but it, it ends up stabilizing you. You you can still ride the bump. You can yeah. still, you know, ride the crev the crevasse or whatever, and but stay. Yeah, and that's what this is. Fairly consistent, so that we're not expecting perfection from ourselves. Oh, you know, I was afraid, and I did this, and I messed it up, so I'll never do that again. Right? Mm -hmm. That's not that's not fairly consistent. That's push and pull, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is where we end up with as we're, um, you know, just re reflect on, you know, how how much um, better off am I by denying that this fear exists or not trying to go forward in this thing that that I have fear about. And yeah, we know where that leaves us exhausted. So I love the way this laid out. It's like, you know, and I think a lot of us go, well, of course, that makes sense. But in practice, we don't always, you know, we don't always uh, follow these, these things. We don't always uh -huh. have the trust or yeah. face it. So this challenge is actually really about rest. It's about deep rest, right? To re to, re to really heal and repair the exhaustion, right? It's about really re opening up and seeing what you've been afraid to see and accepting the truth, accepting the truth of what's there and then stabilizing your life aligning with that, aligning with that truth. I love it. It's perfect. So here we go. And fall is a perfect time for this too. It really is. Um, yeah. It's just a natural, you know, time of the year for transition and for integration as well. And a kind and of the holidays are coming and it's the same kind of a vibe there. You want to just yeah. have sort well, of and that it's also a falling steady. away. Like literally the leaves are falling steady. away, right? It's a literal falling away. And with that falling away, you actually can open up to see more clearly because literally the vistas open up as the leaves fall away. So it's such a perfect reading for this. Awesome. Thank you as usual for an uplifting and inspiring um, soul challenge.